through the five types of rhythm. The first type is regular. Now, like these bricks or even the bricks on the wall out there or the doors in the back of the room, regular rhythms and patterns have identical motifs. And when they say motif, they mean like the object. Just like when we listened to the bass line earlier, each pluck of the bass was a motif. And that first, that first, uh, the first four beats, each pluck was separated by the same amount of space. That's the visual beat. In other words, the second line says they have an equal amount of space between it. So if you were looking at what's called a regular rhythm, like these bricks or the bricks in the wall out there or the cabinet doors in the back or these windows, they're the same size or whatever, and they have the same amount of space between each one. Now, alternating rhythm is different. For example, if you were to take the bricks, instead of having brick after brick after brick, you had like red brick, blue brick, red brick, blue brick, red brick, brick, blue brick. That's an alternating rhythm. Um, so Mr. Page, what, what's, what game do people play where the board actually has an alternating rhythm? Candy Monty. No, I'm asking Mr. Page. You ever play checkers? No. Checkers, yeah, like a checkerboard Check. or a chess board. Okay, so if you take a look at this one, Ellis, on this one, let's look at what are, what are the motifs in this image here? I'm asking Ellis, what are they? Okay, now, well, how are they different? You have a blue elephant, and then what's the other one? White, so they're alternating. So the elephants, we actually have an alternating rhythm. Blue, white, blue, white, blue, white, blue, white. The third type of rhythm is random rhythm. Random. So in other words, there's no exact, or no apparent order. Like if you look on the drawing up here, the yellow strokes, those have a random rhythm. You really don't know where the next one's gonna be. But it is a rhythm, it's just random. It's like if you splatter paint, that's a random rhythm. If you put the strokes down, one after the other, the same amount of space between each other, that's regular rhythm. If you had a stroke of red, a stroke of blue, a stroke of red, a stroke of blue, that's your alternating rhythm. Flowing rhythm, wavy lines and curved shapes. So, uh, Amir? Amir. Amir. Amir, gotta wake Amir. up. If you have repeated wavy lines and curved shapes, that would give you your flowing rhythm. Uh, Marshall, you got to uh, put your phone to 45 degrees. Now let's take a look at this last rhythm. This is progressive. And in progressive rhythm, it'd be like if you had each, if you had a row of circles, and each one is bigger than the one next to it, that would give you your progressive rhythm. Yes, Ms. Scott. In value, I mean, value one again? If you change the values, yes. Yeah, if you went from darker to lighter, that would be progressive rhythm. So let's take a look at this one. Oh, glad your attention, Miss Scott. What type of rhythm would you say this is? Huh? What type of rhythm would you say we have here? Well, it's only one. Take a look. If the motifs are the lines, are each, in each of these lines, are they identical? They're identical. Are they the same amount of space from each other? So, Isa, 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 what type of, of uh, rhythm would you say that is? Objects are identical, same amount of space. They are regular because they stay the same and the distance is consistent. Okay. Uh, Brayden, what type of rhythm do you see on this one? Brayden, I'm asking you Brayden. Okay, Elijah, you want to help him out? When did you 
said flowing. Yeah. Why would you say flowing? Because it's like it's like no one's really in the curve, right? Yeah. So that's a flowing rhythm. Yes. Okay. Um, what type of rhythm do you see here? Why would you say regular? Because it's boring. No, um, because it, it, it's just, it just, um. Same size, and they have equal yeah. space between it, right? Same size as. Okay, Miss Todd, 